Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. I'm, uh, I'm from the United States. I flew in here uh, yesterday. Had a nice flight, except uh, my flight attendant yelled at me on the plane. She yelled at me because I was standing when the plane was landing. Well, excuse me. <laughs> Sit down, sir. He's trying to land the plane. I mean, I can't believe the fact that I'm standing it interferes with his ability to land the plane. <laughs> hey, is he backing the plane in? Sit down, sir. I can't see your heads in the way. <laughs> Someone please sit that passenger down. We're going to wreck. <laughs> they make such a big deal out of landing and taking off at the airline. Like the seat tray? Oh, they won't even try to land the plane unless everybody sees you. So. That's a no-no. You see all the flight attendants in full force circles with the seat tray. Ma'am, your seat tray has to be able to land the plane. Like the landing gear is connected to the seat tray. <laughs> He's up in the cockpit. He's having trouble. We can't lose altitude. What's the matter? It must be a sea trade out back there. <laughs> she people would get it together. Probably that same knucklehead with his head in the way. Don't just sit down and put a sea trade. But uh, I'm from New York. I like living in New York. And here in London, I haven't seen a lot of criminals here yet. A lot of criminals in New York. Very inventive criminals in New York. New York criminals have gotten bored with old crime. They make up new crime. There was a guy running around the city hitting people in the head with a hammer about six months ago. They just walk up on people. Ping! Hit him in here. This was the crime he chose to indulge himself in. He would just sneak up on people, hit him, and run like hell, you know. And when they found the guy, they tried him. They put him on trial for hitting people in the head with a hammer. What is his defense going to sound like? Well, Your Honor, I thought she had a nail sticking out of her temple. <laughs> I feel I did what any hammer toting citizen would have done at the time. <laughs> when off duty carpenter, I did what came naturally to me. <laughs> I don't know. The weather's been nice here. Yeah? Nice weather. Glad when the summertime comes around. Of course, I'm not white, so I don't have as much fun in the summertime as white people. <laughs> lay outside and tan. It's like a big ritual. I like it. Just lay out and change your color. July comes around, the black population doubles. I know you know this. <laughs> Everybody's black in the summertime. I guess I kid about it because I'm black. I've been this color all my life. I see black people laying outside in the wintertime trying to get a fade on the cure alcohol. Just haven't caught up yet, I guess, yeah. I never said to my brother, it's one below, man. Let's go lay outside. What's wrong? Stay <laughs> the same color all year if you want to, not me. <laughs> I'm getting my change, and I'm getting it right now. <laughs> well, this is my job. This is it. Professional comedian. I come up here to talk to people, trying to make them laugh. I think it's the best job in the world. If it's not the best job, I know it's not the worst job. I think I met the man with the worst job in the world. I went to a movie theater. They have a man in the movie theater to sell you a ticket and another guy to rip it in half for you. And like they couldn't find one person that could do both of these jobs. <laughs> like 30, 40 people working at the movie theater. Nobody can sell and rip a ticket? I'd find out before I hired anybody. <laughs> That'd be the first question. Can you sell and rip tickets? <laughs> well, not by myself. So. <laughs> I mean, I'll sell them, but I ain't going to rip them, too. Come on, that's two jobs. <laughs> somebody else can rip them. I like to sell the tickets. And the poor guy that tears them, he, he thinks he's the only way to do it. You ever see him? He's standing there real confident. I remember one day I went there, I got kind of curious. I ripped the ticket myself. This guy was like, who did this for you? <laughs> for your ticket. Yeah. He don't want me hoarding in on his you know, little ground. He's a ticket ripping professional. That's his job. I don't know how he got the job. You know, so you just walk in there with your application as confetti. <laughs> I think I'm the man for this job. I, really <laughs> I tore that up last night. <laughs> Talked to my mom on the phone today. My mother's just worried about me. I'm in another country. She just worries herself to death. She's Mother's worried about whether or not I'm eating right. That's what she asked me on the phone. Are you eating right? What am I supposed to say? No, Mom, I'm eating wrong. I poured a bowl of cereal on top of my head this morning. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what happened. I just woke up, couldn't find my mouth. That's all. <laughs> yeah, I'm sitting on a cheeseburger right now. <laughs> I'm waking him up. I, I can't go outside. I can have to talk to him. And my dad, I hate when she puts him on the phone. My father's a preacher. Very religious person, my dad. That's one of these guys that's so religious, she can't talk to him about anything without him changing the subject and making it a biblical discussion. I know you've met people like that. One sentence is all day. I'll be talking about sports. I go, that Mike Tyson sure is a good boxer, huh, Dad? My father's like, yeah, he's pretty good. But if he's a sinner, he's going to hell, I'll tell you that. <laughs> you think he can fight now? Wish that hell fire burns his but He's going to have to fight when he gets down there. I love a good biblical argument, too. Jehovah's Witnesses come to my father's house, he lets them in the house. He's not afraid he's happy that they're there. They're happy, he's happy. I don't know what they're happy about. They don't know they're going to get a biblical whipper once they walk in that house. Man. I think my dad's the only man in the world that can make a Jehovah's Witness go, you know, we got to get out of here. <laughs> I got to go. Thank you very much. Good night.